2.2d, reduce with prime factorizations. A reduced fraction is when the numerator, which remember is the top number, and the denominator, which is the bottom number, have no common factors. To reduce, we find the prime factorization and we divide out all of the common factors. for the factors that they both have. We'll see this in example one. Example one, we have twenty-four thirty-sixths, and we need to reduce this. Remember, it, to reduce, we need to find the prime factorization of each of these numbers. We can use this using a factor tree or a division ladder. Twenty-four divides into two times twelve, 12 divides into 2 times 6, and 6 divides into 2 times 3. As you can see, I have found all prime numbers at the tips of the tree. We'll do the same for 36. 36 is 2 and 18. 18 is 2 and 9, and 9 is 3 and 3. Once again, I have found all of the prime numbers. I am now going to replace the twenty-four with its prime factorization, which would be two times two times two times three. And this is all over the prime factorization of thirty-six, which is two times two times three times three. Remember, this fraction bar means divide. So we can divide out common factors. Let's start at the beginning. We know two divided by two is one, so we can divide them out. Again, we have another two divided by two, so they have also divided out. We have one more two on top or in the numerator, but there are no more numbers in the denominator that are two. So we move on to the next number, which is a three. We find a three in both the numerator and denominator, therefore they divide out. We are now left with a two in the numerator and a three in the denominator. This gives us two thirds. Two thirds is our reduced fraction because there are no more common factors between the numerator and the denominator. Let's look at example two. In example two, we have one hundred five divided by seventy. Once again, we find the prime factorization of each number. Let's start with a hundred and five. It ends in a five, so using my divisibility test, I know five divides into it. Five divides into one hundred and five twenty-one times. Twenty-one is three times seven. I now have all prime numbers, so I'm finished with the first number. Now let's try seventy. I know it ends in zero, so that means I can have a two. Two goes into seventy thirty-five times. It ends in a five, so I know that it has a five, and five times seven is thirty-five. I now have all prime numbers. Now I can replace the numerator and denominator with their prime factorization. One hundred and five was three times five times seven, and seventy was two times five times seven. I now divide out or reduce all of the factors they have in common. They both have one five and one seven. This leaves us with a three and a two which means that we have three halves. One hundred and five over seventy is equivalent to three 
halves. Three halves is the reduced form. Remember, a reduced fraction is a fraction in which the numerator and the denominator have no common factors. And to reduce, we need to find the prime factorization and divide out all of the common factors.